in the state, uh, or just in Middlesex County. Okay, well, when, it, when you go there, this is what you find. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Uh, we will try to uh, translate this for you, especially the first, just the first part. And they've got all this really neat stuff. Uh, it was so early, it was Mafachupfus Bay, uh, all of this sort of thing. But the key part is this. Uh, and if you remember your math, word problems? Oh, I hated those. Well, this is kind of a word problem because from this description, uh, we were able to create this little sketch. And here is the river. Here is the uh, wood square in effect now. And if you do this with the uh, numbers that were given in the description, the Washington Street is about there. And the original dam, which is not the one you see now, that's not what they built originally, some kind of brush dam or whatever, approximately in that location. Why so, did they need a dam? Uh, why did they need a dam? <coughs> For power? To do what? For a grist mill? Well, pr probably power the machines, although it's not clear from those buildings that they were really water-powered, except for the Robinson one. Uh, sawmills, grain and saw, uh, lumber. Okay, here's a very early map. This is a manuscript, which essentially means one of a kind. We do have this uh, in the society. We've had a good high-quality scan. Most of our pictures and all of the maps have been scanned, so we have those available if somebody's uh, got a real interest in a particular map. Uh, but notice here, here is the river uh, across the bottom, and there are some names, Barnard's Mills. Uh, now this is 1801, 1701, it's only 100 years after uh, the original settlement here. If we zoom in, uh, we can see here from what this says, by the way, is the road from Marlboro uh, to Lancaster. And all we have to do now is to uh, find this oak tree, another one here, <laughs> and we know exactly where we are. <laughs> but this clearly will become 85 later on. This will become Main Street, that's probably Forest Avenue, and that will be Central Street. Uh, that was very early, 1801. Here we are 30, 40 years later with uh, one of the early maps of Marlboro. Somebody drew that line in. But the early map, uh, this is downtown Marlboro. This will be Route 20 later on. This swamp area will be dammed up and become Fort Meadow. Uh, no Lake Boone. That doesn't happen for quite a long time. And we want to zoom in on that area right there. And if we do, uh, we can begin to see uh, some rather familiar sorts of things. Here's what we now call Pope's Hill. It's had a variety of names over the years. Uh, here is the river coming up here, looping around. And this is the downtown bridge, Washington Street. This will be Main Street. This is uh, Washington Street. And you can see this going off to the left. That's probably River Road, Central Street, 62, and Lincoln Street. Uh, this will be Hog Brook coming down through Tripp's Pond. And this will be uh, Danforth Brook, which gets uh, dammed up to become Bruce's Pond right behind us. And then joins, this will later become Tannery Brook. But that's way in the future. Uh, here's a map, somebody obviously made it up, it didn't come from 1853, but the key thing, and I, we'll see this again when we look at wood squares, there's no square, there's no in, intersection roundabout as we know it now. But here's the dam, sawmill, wood mill, uh, wheelwright shop, and we begin to have the, uh, uh, the beginnings of industry around the, uh, around the dam. Interesting things going on here. Here is um, 
Tannery Brook. And notice, this is Main Street, obviously, but notice we have a pond below Main Street, about where many of us would remember Aubuchon's being, long before then. And that's where the tannery uh, will later become. In fact, there was a tannery there. OK, here we are, uh, 1875, 65, 10 or 15 years after the Civil War. And it's pretty much the layout as you see it now. You can recognize most of the streets, a few things missing. Uh, but here we are right here. This is, we're going to focus in on these buildings here in a moment. I uh, wonder why this was called Wood Park. Uh, Wood Square, that we will talk about later. And I will ask you the question again. Where are we here now on this map? In fact, this building shows on this map. What's right out behind us? Bruce's Pond, called the Mill Pond. And there we are. See the building? All by itself. No post office. No boys and girls club. However, uh, no. Pardon? The build, the, yeah, the, this building, uh, Brigham's home actually, uh, was here. There was a church between he, uh, between us and the Unitarian Church, which is gone. We'll talk about that when we look at Main Street stuff. But anyway, here we are. This is our focus right here. OK, uh, getting down uh, a little closer to detail, here is Washington Street, and here is the river. And this is 1877. This is quite a long time ago. But notice all four corners are occupied by industrial buildings. Here is the dam pretty much in its present location in relation to uh, the road. Uh, Grist Mill and Shoes, name of Brigham Shows. Uh, Brigham Shoes here. Uh, planing and Sawmill over on this side. And over here, that storage, you can't quite see it. But that was uh, another industrial building that we will see some pictures of in a moment. So here is an old picture. Uh, some other photographic character decided to stand in the river, too, to take this picture, apparently. But uh, as far as the, uh, dam is, uh, the uh, bridge is concerned, it looks just like the bridge that is there now. And that bridge probably dates from the Civil War. We don't know. They didn't, weren't very good about telling us when they built things. Uh, these buildings are, of course, a little different now. We are below the, uh, below the bridge. And that's pretty much what it looks like now. But it's, except for the buildings, the same bridge. OK. Uh, here's a very interesting picture. Uh, we're on, what do they call it here? Oh, this is Mount Bellevue. Well, it's Pope's Hill, a uh, variety of other names. But this was back in the days when you could go to the top of Pope's Hill and see downtown. Many of you will remember the famous cross that you could see from Wood Square, which is still there. You just can't see it. And if you go up to the cross, you can't see downtown either because the trees have grown up. But this was uh, at the time when land was cleared a lot more than it is now. So we have these wonderful views. So uh, this blue line is the best I can do for the river to kind of orient you as to where we are looking down. Number of very interesting buildings. Almost everything in that uh, picture except for the stuff way back here maybe is all gone now. So let's look around. Here we have the School Street School. Long gone. 
Here we have the uh, South Street tenements. You'll see more pictures of these a little bit later, but just to get them all together in one spot. Wood Square is going to be right about here. I will mention this house right here now. We won't talk about it, but that house is where the time capsule was dug up. The house no longer exists, but what's there now? Nope. Liberty Park. It's a park. It's where the statue is. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I think, pretty sure these are Pope's livery stables up here in the back. Uh, the dam is down behind these buildings. Uh, notice this building here particularly. Uh, you'll see a picture of that a little bit later, and it may be hard then to place it, but that's where it is now. Here is what is called a bird's eye view. These are absolutely fabulous, the skill that we have long since lost. Uh, this is from probably the 1870s, 1880s, and these were not drawn from a photo. They were not drawn from a balloon. They were drawn by a skilled artists who did these so-called bird's eye views. You are as if you're over, I'm going to guess, St. Michael's Church, looking down towards Wood Square uh, here. And all of the buildings are in perspective. And they're actually quite accurate because we do have photos of a number of these buildings. And they match very easily. Uh, a lot of these were made, a skill that we have long since lost. Uh, well, here is uh, the river, here is the dam, and uh, the river going off towards the left. So let's zoom in a little bit more. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at this set of buildings here, since our focus is the dam. The next one is going to be that perspective. So as if you're over uh, School Street Pub, looking down towards Wood Square or the, the dam. See how we transferred? We're sort of turned around here a little bit. So Wood Square is up here. Here's the uh, dam. Here is the Washington Street Bridge. And here are the industrial buildings. And what we're going to do is uh, work around and take a look at each one of those. Uh, the first one we're going to look at is the GGC, the Goodyear Gossamer Company. Not a term that we use much anymore, but I was thinking about this. When I was a kid, we had galoshes, which were kind of high rubber boots. They were sort of rubberized, that kind of thing. Um, and uh, down east, rain slickers. You know, clothing that is essentially rubberized, probably plastic now. Uh, that's really what Gossamer was. Gossamer goes away, and Goodyear is the name we most associate with this now. Um, and that building is the Goodyear Gossamer Company. Uh, we don't need to go through this, but this is dated 1892, business transaction, considerable interest. Loring Apsley purchased uh, the Goodyear Gossamer Company for a million, president of the manufacturers, embracing uh, the, the country, president of the Board of Trade, director of the bank, Board of Washington, interest of the rubber clothing trade. His friends are not surprised at his latest move. And of course, he then subsequently moves to Apsley Street. Uh, and that's this building right here. So you can sort of see maybe where we're going with this. Here we are on the Washington Street Bridge. And uh, actually, we're, sorry, we're across the street now. Uh, this picture, interestingly, was to show this guy, was to show the bucket, the, the ladder bucket. Uh, but I was interested because of the building behind it. And this building was the Malay last factory. Not the first one, but the last factory. And a last is what? Not much we do now in e day. Yeah, there's forms for shoes. And that was a big uh, last factory in that location. That's what's there now. You can decide whether there's an improvement. Uh, 
Uh, yes, there was. That, that's the factory just said. Yep. Right? Yep. Well, you uh, hang on. You'll you'll see a little bit later what what happens here. This is a very interesting picture uh, because nothing you see in it helps to place it except that this is the uh, bridge right here. The Washington Bridge is right there. So we're standing looking towards what is called Nobility Hill, where the nobility of Hudson <laughs> lived. So we're uh, uh, behind us is Wood Square. So we're on the Wood Square side of the uh, dam, looking across the bridge and up the street. If you want to compare it, we're going to look at these buildings in a minute. If you want to compare it now, the only way I could do this was the road. And the road kind of runs up there. And as I say, I'll leave it all to you and your own, whether you think this is an improvement in our <laughs> built environment. <laughs> OK. Uh, the Brigham factory. Uh, this factory wasn't built in 1837. Uh, uh, I'm, uh, 1857 it was built, not 37, which is about when he started. He started in the uh, 1830s. Uh, interesting picture because you can see Pope's Hill off to the right, over the shoulder. And here is the uh, bridge, the Washington Street Bridge there, with that, the last factory across the, uh, across the street at uh, the McDonald's site. And they made shoes, lots of shoes. Brigham was very famous for inventing a pegging machine. Before that, they used nails and to try to hold the shoe together. It was a challenge. He made a number of uh, innovative uh, developments in the, in the shoe business. Like all of the uh, big shoe companies, they had offices in Boston as well. Uh, that's what's there now. It's easy to think when you drive through that what you see now has always been there. And I'm here to tell you that's not the case. OK. Um, Moulton's Carriages. Remember that little building I told you to keep an eye on in our bird's eye view? Uh, back, whoops, yeah, there we are. Back here. And yeah, this was the one we showed before. It's 1862. This is the height of the Civil War. Uh, it's this building here that we're looking at, because we just looked at that one. Uh, that's Moulton's um, shoe. Uh, interesting. Uh, he worked on the carriages on the upper floor, so in order to be able to get the horses hauling the carriages up, uh, you had to do that. And it went in the Great Fire, but he moved. And actually, the building he moved to still exists. Ah, that's where he was, OK? Park Street, the apartments. And then This is after the fire, yeah, so.